Hi there and welcome back. This is Scott Moyes here from Camera Systems and chipx.co.nz. Today I'm going to cover how hobbyists and startups can access Fusion 360 for free and just quickly explain what the rules are surrounding that. So hobbyists can, and non-commercial users can use it for free um, indefinitely for as long as Autodesk carry on offering that as an option. Um, startups can use it for free as well as long as they meet certain criteria. So often it's focused on, you may have heard it talked about before, that it's free for any company with earning less than 100,000 US dollars a year in revenue. That's not quite true. Um, so if you're a company generating less than $100,000 or equivalent in other currency per year working on a project or product that is not yet commercially available. So if you're working on one that is commercially available, then it's not free for you guys. So or an individual in the same category, so it could be a company or an individual, or an individual using the service on a personal basis that is not for commercial, professional or for profit use which basically covers the hobbyist um, side of things. The term for your startup will, will commence on the date access is granted and will end on the earlier of A, one year from the date of access, so you have to renew the, your agreement every year. The date where the company or product or project generates more than $100,000 per year. So say for example, if you're a startup and you suddenly get a whole bunch of um, additional funding, which takes your annual funding um, balance or budget to over a hundred thousand US dollars per year then you have to pay right? the date of notification to you from Autodesk uh, basically if they turn around and say you can't use it for free anymore alright so with all that out of the way that covers a whole load of people and that's pretty awesome um, how do you access it so if you go to um, this URL here I'll provide a link in the description of this video but you can also just google Fusion 360 and this is pretty much the first page that will come up and select download free trial type in your um, email address so in this case I've just created a dummy email for now Fusion 360 user 2017 at gmail.com um, you agree to give them your personal information download the free trial and that's it so it starts the download now I've already downloaded it so I'm just going to cancel that once you run that oops once you run that it will um, download and install Fusion 360 and once that's complete you'll get presented with this here so I'm just going to log in using that account um, which technically hasn't really been created yet so fusion 360 user 2017 at gmail.com copy we're going next and it's not recognized so at this point even though we've signed up for the trial we actually have to create an account so we'll go to create account first name fusion hobbyist and then my email confirm the email and we'll choose a password that's, that meets their requirements and agree to this and create an account. Okay. If you want to receive some communication, you know, I'd tick that if I were you, um, because you're going to get sent a whole bunch of kind of like startup information and help and a bunch of resources for you guys to use. Um, so it's it's worthwhile. Click done. I mean, you can always unsubscribe later anyway. So. Right, so while Fusion is being created, we'll just skip the video ahead. Okay, so yeah, this is just letting you know that they collect some data about your usage to improve the product. Um, we can continue that now, and Fusion will fire up shortly. Welcome to Fusion 360, your trial has begun. Next. So this just gives you a bit of a tour around the product. So here's your data panel, so where you access any files that you save that get synced to the cloud. Um, so it's a really important area of the product that you'll be using quite a lot. Um, okay, so um, if you click on term ends in 30 days at the top, as an enthusiast, you can come in here um, and select your country. So in this case, we're in New Zealand. 
and accept the terms and submit. So this will get rid of the um, trial banner at the top and so yeah so you should only be using this if you're um, using it um, in a non-commercial capacity basically. If you're a student or educator you can um, choose this option up here in much the same way okay. So sign up and accept the terms and submit. And there we go and that is it. So that little banner's gone away. You can click close on here and you're free and ready to get cracking and learn Fusion 360. Anyway, in the next video I'll talk about some of the settings and how to navigate around Fusion 360, just how to get started, all the different environments and then move on from there. Thanks for tuning in guys, so catch you next time. Bye.